<laughs> yeah, I wanted to uh, to jump in and do an AMA thing. Chiz is telling us we got to uh, pop into right. some of these. Um, you guys can all hop in and look as well. I just un- underlined one. Uh, one question was about Parasite. We discussed that. Uh, what was something cringeworthy from your childhood or teen years that still sticks out to you that you did? I'm trying to think of a real good one. I should have had a good one already. Hmm. Oh, I, I, I got one. Um, right, good. When I, when I was, let's see here. I was really young. I think I was like three, hmm. maybe three or four. And uh, there was a woman... And I've only told this story, I don't remember doing it, but I was only told this story by my, by my parents. Um, there was a woman next to us in a booth and we were eating eating at this restaurant, pretty nice restaurant, uh, even though they brought me, I was three years old. And a woman next to us, next to us had a giant bandage on her face, Ooh. A big white bandage. Looked like she probably, you know, like sustained some damage, an injury. Maybe mm-hmm. She was getting mouthy or something. Yeah. <laughs> Right, according to Kyle, getting mouthy, and uh, and a facial as, gone wrong. As we were eating, I uh, I kept looking over because I didn't know what what she was she was wearing. And eventually, I stood up and pointed at her and I said, "Mommy, why is she wearing a marshmallow on her face?" And I screamed it in the middle of the restaurant, <laughs> and kind of wrenched me down. Uh, they're like, "Just sit down, sit down." And uh, and they, they said they were so embarrassed they had to leave. <laughs> so, <laughs> Take that, I, mom and dad. I felt really bad, but I was like four. So come on. Uh, you can't be blamed for that. I was a kid. Yeah, yeah. whatever. Yeah. I remember I was, uh, I was, I, I had one like that where I was like four and I called a, an old man lumpy in the middle of a aisle at a grocery store because I thought that lumpy meant ugly. And I was loud, even mm-hmm. as like a four year old. And I was like, mom, look at that lumpy man. Aww. And then, <laughs> then she was like, Taylor, Aww. stop talking about that. And I was calling him lumpy as we were going by. <laughs> And uh, <laughs> <laughs> you, doubled, you doubled down, nice. Double down on it. But uh, one I was thinking of that just came to me is I was like seven years old, whatever age you are, when you see a karate dojo for the first time, and you're like, <gasps> oh my God, I'm, I'm going to be a karate man. And I remember it was like one of the first times in my life I can remember true nerves was me and my little gi and my white belt being driven in the back of the minivan to my first karate practice. And in my head, I'm thinking like, these are some tough motherfuckers. I can't just roll into this karate practice as me. I need to be tough or I'm going to get like, I need to be real tough. And so I remember like, as I was walking in, I was like, all right, Taylor, be tough. And to me at the time, tough meant the guy like who on, who's on the shield, like Michael Chiklis, like the kind of guy who would like, yeah. who would, like tucked his neck. He didn't have a neck. He was just fat. So I remember just walking in like, <laughs> with my neck tucked back trying to like appear tough and then like you see two minutes in that it's like all right uh kevin you know kick through the balsa wood board and then i got much more confident but i remember even as a kid being like i looked like a fucking doofus walking in here with my with my neck pulled back like i'm a tough karate man like you were so, michael yeah, chiklis i love you like <laughs> <as a> seven-year-old <laughs> yeah and that show wasn't around at that point that was the only reference i had <laughs> <laughs> just that kind of look and great show by the way yeah, yeah. i haven't watched it but what yeah it is great <laughs> i'll watch the wire before i get into the shield oh you gotta watch the wire oh we've got a list battlestar galactica's on it what did you have any any of those old cringy thoughts uh, from when you were a kid or teenager I, I i can't hang with you on this regard like like i remember um i remember i got really into surfing in my in like middle school and high school and it was my whole identity and i never did it but i had this idea that if i wore a wetsuit to school people would know what a surfer i was oh, and no. uh, imagine if oh, i had Christ. yeah i <laughs> it struck me as really smart but i didn't do it so that's oh, good. the closest i can come up with god i thought you went to school with scuba steve <clears throat> there for about five minutes <laughs> no no oh that would have been rough <sighs> I had a similar thought hey, with bowler sleeve. <laughs> Dude, have you ever seen some guy in a wetsuit? Like your junk is out on display. Everyone knows exactly what you have to offer, which in my case was not much to me. Um, to <laughs> late, nice camel toe to would work. late in like high school. Yeah. Nice camel toe. You're getting, getting hazed as you're going down there. <laughs> yeah. 10th <laughs> grade Woody dreaming of 
pubic hair someday. <laughs> like, it'd be bad. <laughs> I, I'm really trying hard for this. <sighs> trying to think of other good ones for me. Stuff I've done that's stupid and cringy. <sighs> I don't know. I, 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 I blew like the championship game pitching in Little League and cried. I thought you were going to say I blew the championship pitcher and cried. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, so what happened? How, how did you blow the game? Uh, it was like ninth inning and my arm was just gone. I couldn't. It was kind of numb and I, I just couldn't throw anymore. I had yeah. been pitching the whole game and doing well, and the, but the score was close. And uh, I want to say I walked a couple batters and then the guy got a hit, scored a run. And that was it. And I'd been signaling the coach the whole time. Like, I'm done. I'm, I'm, yeah. like, get me out. I, I can't. Like, do you, do you, can you not see that I'm throwing fucking 50 miles an hour out here? Like, pull me, pull me the fuck out. Yeah. But he, 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 was, he was a bad coach. I blame him. 50's not yeah, bad. Bitch. And <laughs> no, it's pretty slow. <laughs> yeah, it's I don't know that I could throw a ball the baseball 50 miles an hour. You'd be surprised. Oh, you could. You could do that shit at Dave and Buster's. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, like, no. an awesome place I, to go. I could sling yeah. 180. You know, like, it, it's, it's. Wait, 180? Yeah, he's the fastest. I could throw ball. one ball, 80. <laughs> <laughs> gotcha. That's better. But, but, but like, if we dropped down to – it was just inaccurate and it's just walking people. It was like, why aren't you taking me out of the fucking game and putting somebody else in? And, but I cried. I cried. And I felt real bad. It was not about the crying, though. I just felt real bad. I felt like I'd let everybody down. That, that was did. a real – That's – and you, and you did. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> They were counting on you, and you didn't have the endurance. For I had done innings. well that game. That 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 was that was their game to lose. And you had did. done you, well you for gonna, part of the game. <laughs> yeah, then, then you ended up ruining it for the yeah, entire right? team. I, I was I was there for I, I did the same thing on, on like an intramural softball championship, and all I needed to do was hit a single. I was the last batter. All I needed to do was hit a single, and I think I ended up hopping out. And I I labored over this for days and <laughs> days for this it was just an intramural softball. But I was yeah. so fucking bummed because so many people, I I watched all their faces go down, and they all got sad. And I went, I did that, I did that, and it made me feel like trash. Yeah. <laughs> just all right, we're fun. still having a party with everyone but Bruce. That <laughs> was, <laughs> was the worst feeling. <laughs> Bruce like, doesn't Kyle get his participation. They hand out the participation <laughs> trophies, and you're like. <laughs> I, I didn't. Did you? Did you earn one? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, I, I I did participate. <laughs> it was so sad. What a sad time.